My name's Scott, and uh, today I'm going to get the uh, Verizon Internet Gateway, the 5G Gateway, set up. So let's take a look and see what's inside the box. Wow, first impressions are great. This is a nice looking piece of kit. Um, it's a five inch cube, uh, five inches on all sides. And uh, let's turn it over and take a look. Here are the only uh, ports. There's two LAN connections, two RJ45s for your ethernet power. And uh, yeah, there's also a button there in the front. We'll find out later what that does. Um, so it includes a setup guide quick guide, uh, plug it in, wait for a solid white light, and then go ahead and connect your devices. Also includes a power adapter and Ethernet. So let's get it plugged in. So Verizon recommend placing it next to a window for the best possible um, signal, um, but not in direct sunlight. So as luck would have it, my office faces north. Um, so I'm borrowing my cat tower uh, and I've plugged it in to the power. Nothing else uh, connected just yet. The light is flashing white, which is good. That's what it should be doing. And then it should go solid white after a few minutes. And after that, you can use it. Okay, so it's about five minutes later. And yeah, the cat is very excited, as am I. The white light is white, solid. So I think that means we can get using this. Let's uh, take a look. The connecting to the router, very simple. So password uh, on the underside of it. So I just used that, connected over Wi-Fi, um, and I was in straight away. I didn't mess around with the mobile app that they tell you to download or do any of that uh, nonsense. I just connected directly to the router and it worked first time, no setup. Um, this particular speed test, by the way, I'm actually connected using an ethernet cable to my laptop. I wanted to do that. It is a tri-band uh, router. It is Wi-Fi 6 compatible, but uh, just to get a true indication of speeds, I wanted to plug in directly. Here's a number of tests I conducted on day one, and uh, I was actually moving the router around the house in different positions just to see, you know, if it was better or worse. And to be honest, it really wasn't. It was pretty consistent, uh, as you can see. These tests, on the other hand, were at night, uh, around nine o'clock midweek. And you can see that it's quite a bit slower, particularly in the download side. Um, and that's to be expected. This is a residential area. You know, that's when people are using it the most. Um, but I didn't notice any issues. Like we stream TV shows. Um, we, you know, we use it, we still use the internet at night and, and it seemed totally fine. And honestly, just as good as our old cable connection. I work from home during the day and use Zoom uh, all day long for meetings. And it's been great. Um, these two screenshots from Zoom show their statistics during calls. These were very typical. I took a lot of these screenshots, but these results are very typical of what I was getting. And it was really, again, just as good as my cable connection. This is the uh, Verizon coverage map. Go to their site because this changes all the time. These red dots are cities where they do have coverage. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you will necessarily get coverage or be offered this service when you go and put in your address. It's going to depend on whether they've upgraded the local tower. Um, and this is a picture of my local tower. The right hand box is a 5G C band antenna. Um, and, and it's also going to depend on whether there's spare capacity because they don't want to sell this to too many people and then uh, overcrowd um, a particular cell and then, you know, degrade service for everyone. In some very urban areas, uh, Verizon are also offering um, this alternative unit, which only supports millimeter wave, um, but the availability of that is really very limited. Um, and so you probably won't be offered it and you'll probably get the cube, which is uh, what I got. Um, if you are lucky enough to get the other unit, um, you may find that speeds are even faster, uh, possibly as much as a gigabit. Overall, I'm really very impressed with Verizon. The service is as good as my previous cable modem service, um, but half the price. I was paying $105 a month, and now with Verizon, it's 55 So for the last 22 years, I've been using cable internet at home, and uh, this is my cable modem. It is unplugged. It is going back in this box. Uh, I wasn't in a contract, but if you are stuck in a contract, Verizon will even buy you out of your contract up to $500. So... What's, uh, what's to lose, right? It's, uh, there's no contract. It's month to month. Uh, if you return it within the first month, they'll even give you a full refund of what you've paid. I've even moved the Verizon box. It doesn't need to be by the window, at least not for me, uh, where I am. It must be a good signal area. If you enjoyed this video, please like. Uh, please also subscribe because there's other videos you might be interested in. And I'm going to update uh, on how this is going as time goes on.